All right, welcome to this Defeating Watch, the Watchtower number six. And I'm going to examine here something that uh, I use on the street all the time when I go witness to Jehovah's Witnesses as they're out doing their field work. And um, I'm going to show you a number of, of Bibles. And it's Hebrews 1, 6. Very interesting. So the question is, do Jehovah's Witnesses worship Jesus? Let's look at this Awake magazine from the year 2000, and you can see it here on screen, it's April 8th in the year 2000. Look at the red underlying text. First grouping, it says what? Throughout the centuries, many in Christendom have worshipped Jesus Christ as, as he were Almighty God. Okay, so they're setting us up. And then they say in the next red text, it is Jehovah God, uh, Jehovah your God you must worship, and it is him alone you must render sacred sacrifice, Matthew 4.10. I like that they reference Matthew 4.10 because that's important. Let's come back here. So we see it's clear from the Watchtower that uh, the answer is no. You are not to worship Jesus. You are to worship Jehovah God. Well, now the question is, did the Watchtower Bible and Tract Society ever worship Jesus? Was that ever okay? Let's look at this Watchtower magazine here from... And, and by the way, I'm going to show you a number of books on this one. We're going to look at this actual magazine right here from October 15, 1945. We are going to open it up here to page 313. So look with me on screen at this actual magazine. You can see here there's page 313. We're going to zoom in on this part of page 313 in the red text. And what does it say? It says this, Since Jehovah God now reigns as king by means of his capital organization Zion, then who as then whosoever would worship him must also worship and bow down to Jehovah's chief one. That's Jesus in that capital organization, namely Christ Jesus, his co-regent on the throne of the theocracy. So you just saw here in the magazine that they did worship Jesus, but you just read in the April 2000 Awake magazine, it says, we don't worship Jesus. What happened? Something obviously happened in the society. I, I often say to Jehovah Witnesses that the Jehovah God of the Watchtower, not the real God of the Bible, but the Jehovah God of the Watchtower, he, he's really fickle and he changes his mind. And he sure changed his mind here because this magazine says worship Jesus. And the other one from the Awake says don't worship Jesus. Actually, the society has a long history of putting in their Bibles the worship of Christ. I am surrounded right now with tons of New World Translations. I am just going to lift them up here and show you all the variety of New World Translations, be it the Fat Boy, an old King James, the first 1951 Christian in a linear. Let's see, what else do I have here? I've got a lot right here. Um, various editions of what we call the Green Bomb. And if you're a Christian, you need to get the green bomb. You'll see here why. Uh, other King James and New American Standard versions. I got large versions, which most of these say, um, some say worship Jesus, some don't. And we're going to look at certain key ones of these Bibles. I got a couple really key ones here that I'll show you here. Let me grab them. Eat they're heavy. This one here, some of you will know, undoubtedly recognize. This is the uh, Holman um, Bible published by the Watchtower Bible and Tract Society. Does it give me a date here? I thought it did. It was in the, in the early, uh, yeah, it's 1898, the, the Holman edition. I have one here that uh, some of you will be well aware of during Pastor Russell's time. Uh, it's a King James Version. And it says to worship Christ. Uh, this is often called the Berean Bible because it has a Berean's teacher's manual in the back. I believe the date on this one is 1906 and it says publish Jesus. I'm going through all these for a reason because we're going to go through a select few of these. Of course, I have the most recent New World Translation done in 2013 as well as the one it replaced in 1984. One of my favorite Bibles is the Bible in Living English by Stephen Byington. I believe it's 1971. Let me double check. 
and you Jehovah Witnesses, no, 1972. Now, of course, you Jehovah Witnesses can read page 7, where you'll learn that the Watchtower Bible and Tract Society published a Bible that said the name Jehovah is a blunder or a mistake. That's why it's one of my favorite ones. It's often funny. I use this one all the time uh, when I do my field service work. I got a variety of other translations here of the, again, the society has a long history of, and, and you can tell here by all these different versions and translations of publishing Bibles, either reprinting King James, New American Standards, the Stephen Byington, the New World Translation, and a variety of forms and formats and, and form, and you know what, and everything I just showed you is not the same. There are differences. So I'm going to highlight some of the key differences. And here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to start with this one right here. This is an emphatic diaglot from 1891. I want you to look with me on screen. And you can see the front paste down. It's actually from Zion, it's from the Watchtower in 1891. As we scroll down or look at the next page, we're going to see the Greek and we see the English. And Hebrews 1.6 says what? Let God's angels worship him. And the Greek language there actually says, worship him. Now, let's come back. So do we worship Christ or not worship Christ? You just saw in 1891 it said, worship Christ. And some of those other Bibles I held up in front of you say, worship Christ. But you read in April of 2000, you do not worship Christ. So what do you do? I'm going to make this statement here to you. Things started to change in 1969. Look with me here. What I'm holding up now is the Kingdom Interlinear Translation. I'm going to hold up, this is 1969. I'm going to hold up the, we're going to look at the 1985 one here in a minute. Here's the one from 1969. Look on screen. And you can see the exact copy I got in my hand. And we are going to look at these two pages. We're going to zoom in on the page on the right and at the top and look what it says the English translation says worship him but they changed the Greek to do obeisance toward him okay so that's different but what you're going to see here now is this large edition of the New World Translation in 1971 remember I said things start changing about 1969 so look with me on screen. Here's the very Bible I'm holding up. Here is the page we're looking at for Hebrews 1.6. And what's it say? Let all God's angels do obeisance to him. Well, that's not worship, is it? That's a different word. That's the first occurrence that I know of in the, in the New World uh, translations that they, they took the word worship out and put obeisance in. Now, as promised, we're going to look at this one right here, the 1985 Kit, or Kingdom Interlinear Translation, which you can see on the screen right now on the title page, 1985. We're going to look at, you, you see the two pages, so we're going to look at the up, same page as we did in the 1969 upper right-hand corner. And what do you see when we zoom in? Now we see a slight difference. Now we see obeisance in the, in the translation in Hebrews 1.6, and we see obeisance in the Greek side of the Bible. All right, so now we see that the, that the Watchtower Bible and Tract Society is, they're changing the text. They're removing the word worship and they're putting in obeisance. And the question asks is, why are they doing that? And we'll talk, I'll talk about that in a minute. But I do want to point this out to you. Here is one of the many different colored New World translations that I got. It red ones and brown ones and green ones and all, all manner of them that are, are this size. But this one here is of particular importance. Look with me on the screen. You can see it's copyrighted in 1961, but yet the printing of that is 1978. And in this 1978 printed book, you see it says what? Let all God's angels worship him. Now wait, let's do a recap. In 1971, they changed the New World Translation to obeisance that you saw in the large Bible. 
but also seven years later they st are still printing worship the watchtower bible and track society is printing these two at least in the watchtower world contradictory bibles this one says obeisance this one says worship this is 1971 this is 1978 so Jehovah's getting a little confused here and doesn't quite know what to do with Hebrews 1 6. So here's the question that you see on the screen. It is, is obeisance, or the Greek word proskuneo, a form of respect and not worship? Because here's, let's come back here. Here's what I'm going to tell you. When I talk to Jehovah Witnesses, they'll take me to Hebrews 1.6 in their New World Translation and say, let's use the, the new one, and they'll say, go to Hebrews 1.6 and it says obeisance, and they'll say, no, no, see, obeisance is not worship. We don't worship Christ. So Jehovah, in a Jehovah Witness mind, the word obeisance does not equal worship. Now, I'm going to answer that question. Why are they making this change? Let me tell you why they're making this change. I heard a story, got to be two decades ago, of a, of a gentleman that worked in the Watchtower headquarters at Brooklyn Bethel and answered the mail. And he did this before they made this change in 1971. He was doing this in the, in the 1960s, even the 1950s. The number one question that he got at the service desk was, Hebrews 1 6 said to worship Christ. Remember what I said earlier? We looked at that uh, um, April Awake magazine from 2000 and it said, and it referenced Matthew 4.10. And what's Matthew 4.10? Matthew 4.10 is Christ being tempted by the devil. And what is Christ's reply to the devil? Christ's reply is, and I'm paraphrasing, you must worship the Lord thy God. Did you catch that? Worship is reserved for God. But Hebrews 1.6 says, Let all God's angels worship Him. Christ. Meaning what? Jesus Christ is God. He said that was the number one question they received from the friends in the field. They put together Hebrews 1.6 and Matthew 4.10 and says, Sure looks like to me in the Bible that Jesus is God. So that what does society do? Well, we're going to change worship in Hebrews 1.6. We're going to take the word worship out, put obeisance in. We're going to say that obeisance is not worship. Problem solved. Jesus is no longer God in the watchtower mind. That's why they changed it. So, is obeisance the same or different than worship? I want you to look here on the screen, and you can see my source, which is the Bible Hub. Type in Hebrews 1.6. Now look at the red box. There's the word worship, to do reverence to. Proskuneo, Strong's reference, 4, 5, 3, 2. So let's look at Strong's reference, 4, 5, 3, 2. Proskuneo is what? To do, you can see this, the underline in the upper left-hand corner, to do reverence to. Well, let's look at further definitions of proskuneo here on the next slide. Proskuneo as defined means what? You can see I got obeisance underlined. Come back here with, with me again for a minute. Do you catch that? The Greek word proskuneo can be translated as obeisance, and that's true. And it, and it often is, and you can see here on, on the, go back on the previous, you'll see on the right hand side it was translated as worship. You know what? It's a distinction without a difference. Obeisance is worship. But in the watchtower mind, it is not. But in the Greek, it is. Obeisance is worship. The same thing. Let's go back with me here to the April 8th, 2000 Watchtower Awake magazine. Remember, look at what it says there. It's Jehovah God you must worship and worship Him only. In Matthew 4.10. Because the Jehovah Witnesses do not recognize the deity of Christ. Look with me here on this next page, as Thomas did in John 20, 28. Then he said to Thomas, put your finger here and see my hands, and put your hand and place it in my side. 
Do not disbelieve, but believe. Thomas answered him, My Lord and my God. Thomas recognized who Christ was. So, what are the consequences to my Jehovah Witness friends for not honoring Jesus Christ, who is indeed called God in the New Testament? Not just in that one case, but in many other cases. I want the Jehovah Witness to read these, these two verses right here, which condemn the view of the Watchtower Bible and Tract Society. Read these verses with me. The Father judges no one, but has given all judgment to the Son, that all may honor the Son just as they honor the Father. Whoever does not honor the Son does not honor the Father who sent him. Jehovah Witness, you do not honor the Son as you honor the Father. And for that reason, you do not have the true Jesus Christ of the Bible. Your society is changing the Holy Scriptures. Actually, they don't change it for ill, because obeisance is worship. But I know what they teach you, and they teach you that it is not, and they are incorrect. You can worship Christ. You should worship Christ. You should honor the Son as you honor the Father. Won't you obey the Scriptures and do what John 5, 22 and 23 says? 